All right. Greetings. We'll give everybody a few moments to come on in. All right, I see Dim's note in chat. Um, I can have Duffy Cooley, I can have Matt Farina, Justin Cormack, drive the meeting. Any, any hands? All right, here's what we'll do. I'll drive through like the project thing and then I'll hand off to Duffy to bring us through the tags. Fair? Sure. Cool. Awesome. All right. Yeah, we'll give a few more minutes for folks to be able to come on in. We don't need quorum for this meeting unless like something changes magically. All right, we've got enough folks on the line for me to be able to kind of move us forward. So welcome. Welcome to everybody on the phone. Welcome to everybody watching the recording. This is our normal TOC meeting for March 7th. And here's our agenda. We're doing things a little different today. I've moved the projects to be able to like applying the move levels to move up. And we've got a little bit around the projects that are currently waiting out in public. So, and then we'll drop on the tags. So here's where we're at right now. Projects applying the move levels. Um, any updates on the graduation? projects well, we're making progress on file code there's a little bit more today we're talking about but it's I, I'm, I'm going to spend some more time on it very and next week and uh, try to get this done neat okay excellent um and then emily and katie are on the line as well i believe yeah yeah uh Stilium is almost done waiting on the last adopter interview which should be done this week and then we can finalize everything Excellent. Um, cryo. Yeah, come on in. Uh, yeah. Uh, so and for cryo, Kathy and I have been uh, helping them refine the DD doc, and we're also having end user interviews right now. So should be in shape soon. Cool. Can you assign yourself over in GitHub so that I know what the change is? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that is super because that that's how I'm going to be able to track that. Awesome. Um, and I don't see Kathy on the line. I can I can update on Kita. Uh, yeah, I've been helping ahead. with I've been helping with the end user interviews as well for Kita, taking Excellent. the European time zones. So uh, this is going well as well. Uh, we're progressing with the end user interviews. Neat. All right, moving to incubation projects. Any updates in here? Dims, I see you're. Sorry, like, yes, we, we need to hand off the other the pieces. RPC? Oh yeah, come on in. Uh, yeah, sorry, it's basically on hold. I, I haven't engaged with them for a while and then not vice versa. I need to re-engage re if we're going to do that because, um, so yeah. Okay. Okay, are you good? Do you need help? Do you like have time for this thing? Uh, I, I'll, I'll, do, I'll, I'll, I'll re-engage with them after Falco is done. Okay, and yeah, I guess if you, if, if it becomes a your time thing, I guess let us know and maybe one of us can help out. But for now, I will let you do your thing. Actually, Dave passing to you around, um, looks like you've got Artifact Hub in here. Uh, yep, I think we've done very little with Artifact Hub. I meant to look, but I forget. We had a conversation on this call a few months ago, which was largely Matt and me. and. I feel like we were kind of circling towards uh, either putting it on hold or like just leaving it where it is and not doing the incubation process, but I'm very hesitant to declare any of that because I haven't looked at the notes and forget. 
So I think the real answer is Matt and I just need to think on this and make a real plan and either push this thing through or stop it. But I don't want this to be on our meeting notes the next time we have this conversation. Okay. Um, you got you got about a month. So okay. Okay, cool. So I have a month to talk to Matt. I, I will try yes. to do that. Yes. All right. Any others in the incubation side of the house? I can update on cook flows. This has been delayed a bit, but I'm I'm kicking it uh, this week. So I'll reach out to to everyone that was in the GitHub issue. I uh, apologize for for delaying this, but um, I'll, I'll I'll make an effort to to gain some time back. All right. That covers our quick run through for projects applying to move levels with sponsors. Here's our list of projects that don't currently have sponsors. Um, does anyone have space to be able to put their hand up for any of these at the moment? I definitely have. Okay. Nikita, if you would like support on one of those, just let me know and I'm happy to be able to assist you. Yes, this is please. the way I'll... the new people get to pair with the with the people who've done this before. Yes. Same thing for you, Duffy. I'm I'm happy to help, but I can only help one of you. <laughs> uh, I'm happy to either take one of these or help another one of you. I think the only thing I'm doing right now is artifact talk, which is kind of stalled. So I should I should do more. Yeah, I'd be willing to, help uh, or to to take one and get help for it. So quick question here. Uh, yeah. I so is open ebs still up for incubation it is know. it might not be moving that fast i think i'd look at some of the other ones that have applied in like we can we can circle back with open ebs this is just a list of everything out there okay got yeah. it uh, uh, there are some open issues with open ebs that uh, tsc has concerned those are yes i'm not sure if those are addressed yet it's uh, i think mainly about the the maintainers a uh, lot of turnovers on the maintainers I think that's the concern for that project. So regarding uh, Pixie, I'll cover it in the observability piece, but they just presented uh, this past week uh, at Tag Observability, uh, covering the their, their document for incubation. Okay. Rather than being able to do like the like everything in here, just letting everybody aware these are the ones currently out there. Uh, we'll work through this async. Okay. All right, Duffy, passing to you to be able to walk us through the tags. Just bring us to tag storage. Hooray. Right. Do we have anybody from the tag storage group? Hey, yeah, I will do an update for tag storage. So we are still trying to bring a uh, cloud native PG back for another presentation. We have also been reaching out to other CNCF story projects for project updates. Most of the incubating graduated uh, story projects have already presented recently. So now we are more focusing on the uh, sandbox projects. We want to see if there's any progress made since they were first donated to CNCF. And another focus of the tag is to continue working on the white paper on database patterns in Kubernetes with collaboration with the DOK community. We have the outline ready and people have started to write the paper. We're hoping to have a draft out by KubeCon. And last time TOC asked if uh, people are reading those uh, published white papers, uh, Alex has set up a short URL for those uh, documents. So if someone accessed the URL as a record, um, of course, if someone accessed it directly from our GitHub, that's not tracked by this. Uh, but we do have some stats. It showed that the storage landscape white paper had about 3,000 views, and the cloud native DR one had about uh, uh, 1,500 views. We have also uh, opened a ticket with the CNCF uh, service desk to publish a blog for their cloud native DR by paper. So that's all from text storage. Awesome. Anybody with any questions for tech storage or anything before we move on to tech security? Right. 
who's going to be speaking to tax security. I, I can oh, oh, go, go ahead. Off to you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so so maybe I can I can cover some and then Andy, if you want to jump in on some of them. Um, so we have a security assessment book draft. This is um, something with uh, by Justin Gaffold. Um, basically, kind of a rundown on how do you go about starting a security assessment. What things you have to consider. Um, we are seeking contributors here. Uh, we want to eventually get a little bit more perspective into this and release this as another paper. Um, and did you want to cover Security Village? Yes, absolutely. So uh, courtesy of uh, all the hard work from uh, individuals on this call and in Tag Security, we have a uh, DEF CON-esque um, inspired Security Village at KubeCon Amsterdam. That will comprise an auditorium, some unconference breakout space, uh, the CTF itself, and some collaborative workshopping areas. We have a CFP now open for that. It is um, outside of the usual process. Uh, we're hoping next year to be um, a little bit more joined up, but just coming off the back of Cloud Next Security Con, um, everyone was a little bit busy. And uh, yeah, we welcome proposals. Very excited to uh, have three or four representative talks from the TAG demonstrating uh, some of the sort of community outreach and some of the things that we're working on. And then um, everything else is invited from the community. And that's EU, not NA. Thank you, Emily. Yeah, we also have the new project security guide. Um, this is taking kind of current resources um, and we are working with uh, tech contributor strategy to get that um, posted up on the um, new project resources. Uh, the cloud native security white paper version two for the white paper version two, the, the audio recording is done. Uh, we're looking for a few more reviews before we publish it. Um, so any feedback, if folks want to listen to that, that'll be great. Uh, we also have a um, the secure, se secure supply chain working group is starting up on our next uh, project, which is what is the secure supply chain policy? Uh, this mainly kind of answers the question of like, when you say, what is this, uh, I want to have software that has a supply, secure supply chain policy what does this mean? Does this mean vulnerabilities? Does this mean provenance? Um, and kind of like dissecting that a little bit more to hopefully make way to future work to dive into uh, the individual components of that. Uh, Andy, do you want to take uh, the last one, Sadam? Yes, absolutely. We are still um, undergoing a little bit of discussion about which level this review occurs at. Um, there have been some private reviews uh, undertaken, and we're moving towards sort of getting to a shared understanding of how lightweight or um, at, at one extreme or involved with the sort of self-assessment and full security process we are going to be for this. Um, yes. Just in projects, for, just for projects in general, or what do you mean? I think specifically for Cilium because there was um, because there have been some threat models too recently undertaken, and uh, we're trying to determine where the middle ground is there. Yeah, Cilium um, had has I believe had two security audits. Um, one is relatively recent, and they've gone through and remediated um, all or if not all, then the vast majority of those findings. And this was initially a, a closer look at kind of the security practices and um, for the project um, based off of part of that due diligence refresh and update for those reviews. So it is something I think that needs to be worked out closer with the project, but I don't believe um, a full, fully detailed joint review may be necessary. Um, but I will lead that up to whoever the security reviewer or security pal is that is assigned on Cilium to work through with the project. Super excited about the security village and stuff. I think it's going to be a lot of fun.
next we have Tagrenta. Anybody have any questions for security? I guess before we go on to the next group. All right, Tagrenta. All right, so Nikita is going to drive it. I'm just going to sit here and provide any crop clarifications. Thanks, Ricardo. Uh, so hey everyone, since the last tag update, we've had project presentations from KSOV and Flatcar. So for those who aren't familiar with KSOV, it's a machine learning inference platform on Kubernetes. They're actually a member of the LF AI and Data Foundation right now, but they see more alignment with the CNCF because Kubeflow is applied as an incubating project under the CNCF. And there's also like a lot of cross collaboration with other CNCF projects like Kubernetes, Argo, and so on. Uh, there's actually one issue open in the TOC repo right now for exploring the possibility of projects existing as part of two or more foundations. Uh, we weren't really sure how feasible the two foundations thing as it is at this point though. So we recommended case of uh, to reach out to the CNCF staff or in the process to move the project from LFAI to the CNCF. Uh, about Flatcar, uh, I think a lot of you might be familiar with it. It's a Linux distro for container workloads. Uh, so for the Flatcar presentation, it was a really good discussion. So Flatcar has applied for incubation and uh, like from a technical perspective and adoption wise, I think they're pretty solid. But I guess the question that was surfaced up in previous TOC meetings were whether Flatcar as a Linux distro uh, fits within the CNCF landscape, but that is probably out of the scope of tag runtime. Uh, we also had a lot of interest from other projects who want to present a tag runtime, including Kera, who has also applied for graduation. And overall, the interest has been really overwhelming. Uh, it looks like we might need to set up additional meeting outside of a regular cadence to accommodate for all of these projects again. Uh, yeah. Now moving on to working group activities, the IoT Edge Working Group is continuing to work on the Edge Native Application Principles White Paper and also the Edge Native Landscape, which has been progressing well so far. Uh, and along similar lines, uh, the batch working group is working on a one pager for the main tools available in the CNCF batch landscape today. And uh, on the CDI, that is the container device interface side of things, a new version of CDI was released and support was added for this version in container decryo and some other projects are in the works. Uh, for KubeCon, we will have a tag runtime presentation and we're also planning to have a tag meeting. So we'd love to see anyone in the community join including new folks, even if you've not interacted with Tag Runtime before, uh, and even other tags for that matter, hopefully we can do some sort of cross stack collaboration in the meeting. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the Tag Runtime update. Yeah. Ricardo, do you want to add anything? Yeah, I just wanted to mention that for the flag car presentation, we did have uh, probably the highest participation of any meeting, so we have about 20 people. So we're getting a lot of traction in the tag. So. It's, it's great to see uh, community growing. Uh, we have the three working groups um, with lots of stuff happening. And, and we, we continue to reach out to different projects to engage with the tag. And like Nikita said, uh, we usually have meetings twice a month, but we're thinking about expanding that. So if you know anybody who would like to get more involved too, so uh, you know, let us know. We're happy to... Uh, be welcome in and, and and you know onboard them and you know get them started to, to with you know the tag nice awesome good stuff i think i'd be interested in helping to sponsor the flat car um project as we as we move forward i think looks like a good one to jump into the next one we have is uh Tag observability. Hello, everyone. Um, so, uh, I guess uh, before before I go through the specifics, um, well, there's an echo. Um, I'll say that the tag could absolutely use uh, contribution, um, particularly in the form of project management, uh, uh, as well as um, you know more technical technical leads um as well as a likely a third chair so there's a it's a it's a huge space um that's growing quickly uh and there's a lot of work uh scoped and defined but not resourced 
so again, uh, if anyone knows anyone that wants to dive into any of this or a whole bunch of other stuff that we've got uh, in our issues on the on the repo, um, please do reach out. Um, so there's a couple initiatives happening. Um, there's an observability query standard work group. Uh, this is some folks out of Netflix and a few other places uh, that got together uh, around, I believe, last KubeCon uh, is when they started talking. Uh, they've come to the tag a few times and formed a, a formal work group where the, the, they have put together the um, they put to, sorry they put together the charter for one uh, that we intend to uh, send to the TOC um uh in the coming week that we we can have to two weeks uh we hope to, to discuss after this meeting uh, but they're looking at uh, a broad survey of languages uh for querying and manipulating observability data um, some vendor specific some open source uh to do sort of a a survey of the space uh and then produce recommendations on what comes next so that's pretty exciting uh, uh and it it's a good example of where I think there's an opportunity to reach out to Apache 2 projects that are outside the CNCF. And this is an example of the kind of thing that we could use more, more help around. I'm really sorry, there's something going on with Tile and I don't know what it is um, that's making that happen. Anyway, um, there's a project, for example, called Substrate, uh, which aims to uh, uh, basically be a meta level uh, SQL compiler, if you will, uh, to allow for interoperability between different SQL backends with 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 tooling support. Uh, it's part it kind of came out of the Apache Arrow community. Uh, so that's not in the you know, a project like that is congruent with uh, things that are happening within the tag. Right. And that's just one example. But uh, there, there's a big opportunity to really network across and then for, for folks that understand the space and understand um, or have ideas uh, around around how we can kind of broaden the tent and and welcome projects into the CNCF that make sense that fit a gap and the substrate project uh, would be an example of that and I can send a link later so that's happening uh, the landscape graph project uh, has had a few folks reach out um, we were going to kick off meetings last week a few folks um, are are working out with their day jobs, you know, to get how much resourcing they have for it, but we do intend to start formal project meetings in the next few weeks. Um, and there's uh, also opportunities to do end user outreach. You know, it's been some time since we've done actual case studies. Uh, we have had a number of presentations to the tag, which are listed here, like from the past few weeks. Most recently, um, Zane from Pixie came and and talked through their incubation proposal. Um, they're looking for a sponsor, um, uh, but there's a there's just a, a massive opportunity to to to, to organize and, and curate these these sorts of uh, presentations. Um, and I think there's de both demand for it and supply, if you will. It just requires organization and orchestration. Um, uh, so that that's happening. Uh, we have a maintainer track talk that Alita will be giving um, on uh, at KubeCon as well. We'll be giving tag updates on all of that. Uh, and then there's a, an observability day event being planned as well. Um, and then as far as the TOC tag, um, I, I, Alalita is on a plane at the moment, or she'd be here. Uh, I believe she's referring to some of the dialogue in the, in the past uh, few weeks around uh, how we can um, make clear you know, what sorts of communication patterns do we want to have between the TOC and tags, and how can we facilitate that? Um, so that's it from, from us. Uh, if there's any, oh, there was one other thing I wanted to raise, um, uh, and it, it's probably a quick one, but, uh, the talk that was going to be today, we're actually postponing for a few weeks to the 21st for scheduling, but it, it raises an issue, right? When we first looked at the project coin, it's an MIT project, right? But it's actually MIT with a commons clause. So it's not OSI compatible, right? So, um, so this person, Brian, might, uh, we're thinking we'd like to have him come talk about uh, ontologies and knowledge graphs and, and some of the applicability to observability generally, uh, not the client project because of that licensing constraint. So I guess my question to the TOC is, is my understanding of what um, what is permissible and what's not um, correct? Like that, you know, only Apache 2 really and MIT um, it's it, 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 it as a as a predicate, it, you it's know, a, uh, yeah. is the bar. 
I think that's documented in we know exactly where that's documented. This, this is a, a more nuanced conversation. Um, okay. But, like, realistically, we do have a process for being able to apply for license exceptions. Um, are you talking about projects that are coming just to present um, as far sure. as being able to talk to the tags? Well, so in this case, um, uh, so the project uh, itself is actually not the focus. Um, uh, you know, we've been talking in the tag and, and generally about the applicability to graphs and graph theory and graph databases to observability data generally. Um, uh, much as Calmer stores have, have have helped everyone, not just observability folks, graphs have a lot to offer, right? So this is a domain expert uh, who happens to have done this project, would be happy to talk about this project, but, um, you know, I've, I've communicated um, um, that that he shouldn't, that, 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 that you know, Jesus. I'm so sorry. You'll have to... Okay, this sounds like it's going to be a long conversation. We should take this offline. Cool. Yeah, I agree. All right. Um, well, I guess let's move to... Oh, did I lose the network? I did lose network in here. Okay. Oh, sorry. It went back. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, it's okay. Uh, Matt, our, our decision here is we're going to take this particular conversation offline. Oh, that's a sick piece of it. Super. The last thing I just wanted to be clear is that this is not about the project applying to be as part of the CNCF. This is about using CNCF time and space in general um, to talk about things that are not license compatible. So um, we'll, we'll take that. Is it open line, source? I did want to make that clear. Uh, Sorry, what? Matt, uh, in general, you don't need permission for uh, license things if you're just talking to people. Um, you don't have to worry about that. The, the license things matter only when somebody is applying um, and not otherwise. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is about like in a tag meeting on CNCF yeah. resources. Uh, yeah. uh, so thank on. you for clarifying. And that, that, that's that's not a problem. It, it has to do with the things like the CNCF taking IP ownership yeah. and there's legalities there. So licensing matters for things like that. For a conversation in the... Um, in a tag meeting, you can bring in all kinds of stuff. An open source project under the MIT, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that, you know, if it was, how strict we needed to be, uh, you know. Fair enough. So, thanks. Great. Tag environmental sustainability. Next. Or Sorry, it network is. can drop their things down into the bottom, and I oh, want to be able to make sneaky. sure we got the network. Okay. Tag <laughs> network. <laughs> Hey, hey all. Uh, we don't we don't have a meaningful update. Um, that's that's really worth covering this time. Um, so th yeah, I think you mentioned the play that mystery.io pretty recently. Pretty good, pretty yeah. interesting stuff. And so, um, you know, since, since since there's some quietness here, I'm I'm compelled to say. So Dims had asked last time about a CNI um, 2.0, which um, which which is a thing. Um, I'm gonna it, we're gonna be inviting those folks to present at an upcoming tag network. Um, there was a recent presentation on CNI 2.0 at FOSDEM, um, but it has been in the works for yeah. in planning for some time. It's about as concise as I can say it, I suppose. And and that's that's it. Awesome. Hey, Lee, I, I, one comment that I have is that the Tag Runtime has an IoT Edge working group uh, working with the Open Networking Foundation. So they're trying to work at the intersection of Edge workloads and networking. Um, so they might actually reach out to Tag Network nice. to engage. Yeah. Thank you for that. That's great. That's good. All right, on the tech environmental sustainability. Um, hello. So a few updates from our side. Um, we worked on on a survey and we have it ready soonish. So probably end of this month. We have a blog post ready to um, announce the results. Um, we scheduled two project presentations in, um, in the tech meetings. So we plan to do this every month. Um, and the first one is in in the uh, next week. Uh, so if you're interested in uh, Cube Green or in Kepler, 
you can uh, check out the tech meeting, join the meeting. Um, we've been working on the environmental landscape document for quite some time. We started uh, like in, in October or even before then, and we are confident that we can show some like first results or first landscape document in the maintainer talk at KubeCon. Um, maybe we will also hand out the flyer with the some like details. Um, this, we've been also discussing about this. And we will have a tech meetup in person at KubeCon and the maintainer talk. And that's that's it. Duffy, you are still muted. Sorry, there's actually construction happening right outside. So I'm oh, trying sorry. To come back and forth. <laughs> it's all right. I hope you guys, I hope, I hope you all aren't being um, bothered by it. There's lots of beeping. <laughs> um, so any questions for environmental sustainability? I have a question. So what kind of survey, what, 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 what contents are covered by the survey? So the survey we we have um, maybe I can also share the links in the chat. There's like some like more details it was mainly about data centers and also one focus was like a little bit more hardware heavy. We're also thinking about like doing more software side survey or something um, where like software developers can maybe jump in on. But but this was like mainly the focus. So we. Had it open for a few months. Started, uh, if, I, if I remember correct, in Coupon and A. Um, so let me share the links in chat so you can check it out. Thank you. Anything else? All right. Tag contributor strategy. I think is next. Okay, howdy folks. Um, so we're gonna be uh, very present at KubeCon Europe, um, like usual with um, a uh, kiosk, which was useful at the last KubeCon for reaching out to projects uh, who actually needed help with a uh, contributor uh, contributor-based building and governance and other things. Um, so we're going to do that again. Um, so if you know a project that actually needs to talk to us, um, you can send them over to us in the project pavilion um, uh, in the usual sessions, um, including um, I, both a regular session and uh, Dawn is going to be doing a keynote. Um, the um, I for mentoring, um, CNCF has been accepted into GSOC. Um, the, um, uh, we have a bunch of proposals, more proposals than we will probably get slots. Um, so we are set up for that. Um, the, um, and the new quarterly LFX uh, program is actually beginning soon. And again, um, we have 60 something uh, mentors for that. Um, I honestly, if our, we have a limitation with LFX right now, it's actually broadening the student base. Um, and so we're looking at, are there ways to do that? Um, because right now, probably 90% of the students applying um, are from Indian universities. And well, a lot of those students are brilliant and great. Uh, LFX is supposed to be a worldwide program. So um, uh, brainstorming ideas for how we can actually um, broaden the appeal of that. Um, at uh, Matt Freeman's request, um, we're looking at how the tag um, could be involved in uh, what we call a governance remediation process. So we're already um, working on doing formal reviews of governance for projects that are applying for graduation. Um, but what's been brought up is the case where the governance of the project is written does not match what the project is actually doing. Um, and how is that to be handled? Um, and so comment on that issue, um, uh, which is uh, in the tag contributor strategy repo and linked from the slides. Um, if you have opinions on that or want to be involved. 
Um, and then finally, um, a lot of the details are TBD, but we've requested space for maintainer circle at KubeCon Amsterdam. And that's it. Excellent. Any any questions for contributor strategy? Awesome. Next is tag app delivery. Yes, sir. That is me. I'm representing today. I'm a technical lead on the group. Um, first is KubeCon EU. Uh, we have started discussing amongst the leads and with the group. Uh, our activities there, we want to, we're having a meeting, a meetup on the pre-day, um, which will split between reviewing our own work in progress and bringing in some project maintainers uh, to hopefully share, you know, five to 10 minutes snippets on uh, significant, uh, significant things that they've been working on. Uh, same thing with the booths, we'll be in the project pavilion. The idea is to provide end-to-end uh, -end discussions um, and a place for project maintainers that don't otherwise have a project to meet uh, and potentially to hold like a unmeetup like we did in Detroit. Um, we also have a session um, and we'll emphasize some of the domains that we've worked on, platforms, applications, operators. So yeah, so I uh, clicked that link. If, you, if any of you or any of your folks in your tags projects want to participate with us, um, you know, please let us know. I'm gonna, we're gonna work on a, blog post and some sort of call for proposals shortly, hopefully in the next week or two. <laughs> this is not much time. Uh, next, uh, Ouija platforms. Um, I'm really excited because I've been <laughs> leading this work. Uh, so the white paper is ready to be published. We've been working on, on a paper there defining platforms for cloud native computing. Um, assigning an adjective before platforms is quite controversial. So that's why we went with that. <laughs> Uh, we want to. I, I put links in here, so just go to the the doc and just click the go to the deck and click the links to to see. We want to publish it by mid April in time, so we can get some discussions at KubeCon EU. Um, obviously, we're all you know influenced by our own work with customers and users, but we would love to gather more feedback. Uh, both there's an opportunity with the publication to do a survey and publish the data broadly for all of our projects about like platforms and what customers really want, or users, whatever we call them, uh, really want from them, et cetera, et cetera. And I also, so this, and also user groups, it would be great if there was some sort of, just a, a council or something. I know there's something in CNCF, so I wanted to bring that up here. Um, whatever the talk can do to support us in gathering this feedback, you know, chime in on that survey, if you wanna help us do it well, uh, you can always use help as everybody else in this call. Um, Next up, Ouija platforms is, you know, now that we've got the paper out the door, we want to talk about capabilities and go into some of them. So I linked some product mindset. I know, Emily, you actually had written this morning. Are we thinking about that? That's one of the ones that people brought up from day one. Like, can we go a little deeper into product mindset? Um, I'm personally technical, technically inclined. So things like secrets, multi-tenancy, um, and other things like that are also, we're starting to dive in. Uh, I'm, we're just starting to build momentum on that stuff. So but please come and, and help. Uh, and we're also, the last thing is we're working on a prototypical platform. Um, yeah, that's just kind of early days. Uh, something that could guide users on bringing things together from CNCF. Josh, if you haven't already, I would recommend um, syncing with Brandon Lum or Radna Chital and Andy from Tag Security around those secrets and multi-tenancy portions. I'm sure they have a lot of information in the white paper that they can share, then make it uh, platform specific. Very cool. Yeah, I, I thank you. Um, Andy, what was the last name? Block? Uh, Martin. Andy yeah martin oh, okay yeah i would love like i'll try to find some of the groups i've been wanting to bring some other folks in but reach out to me also if you want and let, let's talk um i brought in a few people here uh like the sops proposal uh that's in sandbox and some of the people at red hat that are working on like uh service binding stuff so uh okay i love talking about platforms but that's not fair to get up so let me move on uh ouija get ups uh just Channeling Scott Rigby's update mostly here. The GitOps Con and, and CD Con are going to be at Open Source Summit in Vancouver together. I think they're announcing uh, the agenda this week, so look for that. 
Um, and the other thing that he called out is that they're working on a certification. Um, so check out those issue and discussion for more on that. Um, we are doing project reviews. I bring this up because like one of the things I think about is how we're supporting the talk and end users in the end. So we're trying to uh, put a little structure around those reviews when when projects come to present to us. So we did Q plus a couple of weeks ago, score from Humanitech uh, in January, Acorn a little earlier. Feel free to check those out. We just, we take down the notes. We're kind of coming up with a little bit of a structure for it. And then we post it up there for future reference. Um, so Emily, actually it's been on my to-do list to talk with you about making sure we're doing this well or how we can, uh, you know, help the talk out. Okay, feel free to shoot me a message and we can schedule some time. Cool. Uh, last thing on there is I just wanted to mention, there's been a little bit of discussion about an application spec, um, meaning something that would capture all of the components in an application, uh, you know, many deployments, many secrets, config maps, extra resources, things like that. So check it out if you want. Um, yeah, that's it. I guess questions if anyone has. I think my other note is like, you can always drop a note into the TOC list to be able to get more survey like engagement. If that's something you're looking for, um, that would be one of my next steps, I think. Thank you. Makes sense. Yeah, and the TOC Slack channel as well. So. so I think at this point, it's just open for questions and feedback on what we've seen so far today. Big thank you to DIMS. This is DIMS last meeting with all of us as a TOC member. Thank you, thank you. Good to miss you. Thanks, everyone. Election Thank opens today for TOC uh, chosen seat. That'll wrap up the 14th. So good fun. Yeah, thank you for your huge contribution. Dims, are you planning on hanging around in the community? I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Where will I go? <laughs> I just had to ask. You, we, would, we, would, we, would, we would find him, I think. You know, like, wait, where are you going? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm still having my hats in the Kubernetes community, and I'm going to be there for sure. Um, yes, I will pop in here and listen to all you all and uh, give my two cents from the peanut gallery at that point. <laughs> the valuable two cents. Thanks, everyone. All right, not seeing any further questions. Anything else coming up in, in chat? All right, our next public meeting is going to be uh, tag chairs and TOC. Um, and we'll put out agendas for that, like we always do, so. Thank you all for attending. And for all your valuable feedback, we'll see you all next time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, you guys. Right. Bye. 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 Bye.